Hi, this is Catherine Roseanne with Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Natia Bonaf from Yellow, and he's here to talk about a Little Red Riding Hood. So please tell me about the game. So it's a cooperative game. It's the fifth game in our Tales and Games uh, series. Um, and well, the, the goal of the game is to reach Grandma's Cottage, which will be somewhere under one of those tokens, okay? Before the world does. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It's um, a push -like game, okay? And at your turn, you will flip one of those cards and add a little token for each flower you see, face down. Okay. okay? Uh, then you will have to decide if you want to push your luck or not, taking turns. Okay? Alright. If at any time you, you flip a card that is less than the number of cards you already flipped, uh, your turn is over, you don't advance your, your pawn, but the wolf does. Okay. okay? It, it, it goes uh, forward one one. So if I were to draw a card that was a one? For example. Uh, a one would, would, would be would be okay, okay because it's not less than, than the, the, the card you it's the card you already All right. drawn before the one you just okay. Okay. Um, but so let's take an example. Like this one, we would add two of those. Some of the cards in there are special. Like oh this one. Aha. Uh -huh. What a coincidence. Oh, look at that. Um, here the little red riding hood is running, so we would flip all the tokens and advance one per flow where there is. Okay? okay. You, usually you only advance when you decide to stop. Then you reveal and you advance one, one space per flower. Uh, with this card you can advance during your turn. Oh, okay? And so you can also stop later and advance again with the same card. Uh, I'll continue my example. There it's it's bigger than three, so I add two. Do you want to continue? Yeah, to yeah let's, let's try it. Let's, 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 let's push, push our luck a little bit. If you, if you stop here, we would reveal those and advance uh, for each flower one space. The wolf always advances one space, no matter what. It does. This one is another special card that allows you to look at the last card, you know, and as you know exactly what the cards are in here, you can guess that it won't be the, 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 the next one. Okay. And so, if we're too greedy, we're going to hit either the wolf, which is zero, or a card that is lesser than the number of cards we, we already there. In that case, as I told, you take all of those, you put that in the little basket over there, and you discard all your cards. Okay? You start again, a new round with the cards here, so you can guess. You know what's been yeah. before, so. Um, so that's, that's about it. When you get here, you have the choice between taking the shortcut, the short path, but the wolf can catch you, ah. or taking the longest road, but you know it's, it's safer, but uh, longer. Okay. Uh, there's also another uh, playing mode where one of the players play as the wolf. Ah. When you play as the wolf, you decide which card you want to play before you know if the other players uh, want to continue or not. Uh, you decide what token you want to put on the cards. Okay. Of course, you have to uh, wait until it cycles to use them again, especially for the cards. And what I really love about this, this um, game mode is the characters. All the player players have a little character that has a special bonus. For example, he can turn stones into flowers. Ah. Or he can uh, cancel the, the, the wolf cards because he's, he's the hunter. But whenever you do that, you flip the card over and you give it to the wolf player. Mm. And now he has a, a bonus he can use. And if he does, he gives you the cards back. And the All right, so, so this bonus will be work, working itself back, back and forth. Back and forth, that's it. So whenever you use a bonus, it's a good thing, but it's also maybe a bad thing that can happen later. Maybe. So that's it. Fantastic. How many players does it play? I think it's I, I think it's two to six, but one it's, to it's five. One so five. it can be played in the solo one, mode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a solo mode. Mm -hmm. And solo. how long will the game typically take? About twenty minutes. Fantastic. So thank you so much. That is a Little Red Riding Hood in this gorgeous book box from Yellow.